Let us start with the most amazing feature that has come to Glaze Pencil. If you have exported any animation from Glaze Pencil or any animation out there, you can just re-import it in Blender and Blender can extract any frame you have, like you see here in the example. You can extract any frame in Blender and Blender will convert it into a Glaze Pencil object that you can just edit as you want. So you can see it just dragged. You can just drag the sequence directly into Blender and Blender will extract the entire sequence back into uh, a Glitz Pencil animation and then you can make changes to that animation. It doesn't matter, even matter if it's, if uh, the export was from Blender as long as uh, there are lines to extract are like this. It, you can just drop it in and Blender will extract it for you. Let me just show this to you just one more time so that you can see how amazing uh, this feature is. You can see the final animation being played in v VCL. Uh, it's, it's an MK video and then it just drags it into just drag it into the glitz pen so uh, viewport and uh, then just right click and extract the keyframes and it just extract the enter uh, and convert it into a glitz pen so object that you can edit make changes to you can see uh, I can change the curves do whatever you can do to a normal glitz pencil that was created in Blender uh, to this extraction. And for those of you who use the Blender Fluid Simulation, I'm excited to tell you that uh, this time around uh, the Fluid Simulation didn't miss out on this batch of updates and that uh, we have some exciting new updates. So I have two Fluid Simulations here that I'm going to show you side by side so that I can see if you can tell if there is any difference. The Blender Fluid Simulation now supports basic APIC simulations. They can be enabled from the simulation method, which before only supported flip simulation. Playing these side by side, you can see that uh, the flip simulation has a lot of uh, particle splashes, which is nice, but uh, when you're creating very small scale simulations, uh, they can create a very unstable behavior, uh, which can sometimes also increase on the computation or simulation uh, time for your simulations. And uh, now with the new APIC simulation, I uh, can see that uh, we don't really have that many particles, which means that uh, uh, the simulation is going to be stable especially on small scale uh, simulations. We also have more and more updates from, from the Sculpt department. Uh, you can see now they have added in a fall off. Uh, before that, we only had spherical fall off where the fall off was calculated within a sphere. But uh, this time around, they have added a feature for a planar fall off where fall off is going to be dependent on a plane that is facing directly to your screen, as you can see demonstration here is doing. Now, this should be very exciting for any 3DX Max uh, that have converted to Blender. Uh, this is a feature that has, I think, has always been in 3ds Max. Uh, you can just create an object, and then you have this option to just uh, change the parameters with your with a mouse drag. Uh, this feature is now available in Blender 2.9. Uh, this should be a very new, exciting feature. You can easily create walls, add objects to to mesh surfaces are uh, in one go so that's it i'll keep updating you with new features that are coming in uh, into blender thank you for watching see you next time